Well, Artworks TO is a big project. Like it is all over the city and you don't realize really how big the city is until you start following the Artworks TO map. I just love the idea that it has spread out. Instead of trying to get you to go to a gallery, it brings the art to you, to your backyard. So when you get off the bus, or you get out of your car, coming home from work, oh my gosh, that wasn't there yesterday. There it is. It's there in my community, in my neighborhood. I don't have to go anywhere to, to, to seek it out. It's, it's, it's where I live. That idea, and a key word, and I guess the, the, the branding for Artworks TO is the, is the word everywhere and, and everyone. Like it really engages everyone and everywhere in the city. I think uh, public art, especially in Toronto, is really important uh, because there are many creatives who flock to Toronto. It's seen as this cultural hub, it's seen as kind of this international city, and as such, a lot of artists, a lot of marginalized artists will flock here in search of opportunities, in search of, you know, a chance to kind of get their careers going, and public art kind of goes out of its way to demonstrate that Toronto is a place that can provide that. Imagine being able to walk by the pieces of public art that you see every day and listening to the stories behind those pieces and learning more about them. We launched Artworks TO Tours in partnership with Driftscape and major cultural organizations to support the understanding and development and kind of to shed light on the stories of the different public art pieces that we have in the city. We've curated approximately 48 different tours and we featured approximately 500 pieces of art. I think public art has a, you know, a strong factor in the development of cities, um, of communities, and I think it's something that's necessary to have everywhere. And I say that in the aspect where, you know, when you can go into neighborhoods and art is not always common in terms of something that you see or something that you talk about, it really changes the DNA for community to be able to place work there. And I think when we look at our work and, and what we aspire to do, it's finding the places that have, stories have typically not been told uh, or not have been documented, places that we come from, people's places that we know well, and finding a way to kind of change that through art. Um, so I think it's important to have public art in those spaces because it, it helps grow the community. It helps bring people back into those neighborhoods. So when we look at development on whole, art is very much an important part of that. And I think without that, what we appreciate is Artworks TO has been able to recognize that power of art and, and seeing it in different places across Toronto and how it works. Artworks is giving people a chance, you know, to engage in something that's bigger than any one individual. Uh, I think working towards this uh, collective effort to bring art to the public we have roads and buildings that are essential and we, ha we need resources to support all of that. But what public art does is it humanizes that world for us. And it brings people out, engages them, puts a smile on their face or a thought in their head. We want art to be everywhere. We want it on the side of buses, we want it on digital billboards, we want it on static billboards, we want it in malls, we want it in transportation hubs, at the airport, at the train station. We want to have it in people's face all of the time. So when you're traveling in your common, common spaces, whether you're going to the grocery store, or yeah, you're hopping on the Up Express to go to the airport, art is always there in environment. And this is, this is what everywhere means to us bringing the art to the people and where they occupy space, as opposed to asking them to go to a special destination in order to experience of art. We want to engage every single ward and every single community across the city of Toronto. As a part of the Artworks TO website, we've created and aggregated information from multiple different sources that the city had been updating and producing to create one interactive map where you can get all the information you'd like on 
different public art pieces that we have in the city. So the interactive map features behind the scenes footage from artists, some behind the scenes stories, as well as interviews, information, artist statements, the type of material that was used to create the art, uh, and a whole lot of other information and detail that you wouldn't be able to see on site right in the palm of your hands. So you can access it on your mobile phone, or you can dive deep and go online and create a tour of yourself or plan a route of what you'd like to see in your neighborhood. Understanding that 70% of public artworks are downtown, but 70% of the population is outside the core. We want to create a little bit more equity there. We want to balance that. We want to bring artwork to the communities that don't normally have artwork, nor necessarily understand what the artwork is or recognize it or see themselves reflected. We want to balance that a little bit more. Public art had a, you know, a strong factor in the development of cities, of communities, and I think it's something that's necessary to have everywhere. You know, when you can go into neighborhoods and art is not always common in terms of something that you see or something that you talk about, it really changes the DNA for community to be able to place work there. It just empowers you to really wear your heart on your sleeve and, and be uh, real and, and whole and, and know that there's a demographic out there that will resonate with it. Too often we create work in these tropes or silos and you know, you're either creating work for a corporation or to succeed at an art fair or, or something like that. All, all good things, but when you're creating art for public good, it takes on a whole different meaning because you know, those are the people that you want to be accountable to.